Right. Item 4.3. Back to you, Mr. Lewis. Use the resolution. Oh, God. Just repeat it with it. Back in May, um, Council um, received an agenda item regarding electric vehicle charges, and staff were asked to um, seek out expressions of interest. Um, that was done, and they received nine expressions of interest, of, which, of those nine, four were actually interested in, um, in supplying in and installing um, charges into the up to a maximum of two car parks. Um, in the report, we've identified who the four were, um, with a preferred supplier being charged net. Um, I would take any questions at this stage. Yes, Councillor Park. Uh, yes, thank you, um, Your Worship. Um, on page 25, under the options, um, with disadvantages of it being um, offered to charge.net, it says may not have community support. What is meant by that? <coughs> what that's meaning is that if it didn't proceed, sorry, if, if it was offered to, irrespective of who it was, a supplier, then there may not be community support for the loss of the couple of car parks for EV charges. Oh right, so it's yeah. about that emotive issue yes. around Okay, great, thank you. And, and, oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. You go. Um, with charge.net, I see they have a network of stations. Does that mean if there are any issues that there is someone based around, like in Rotorua? Because I noticed a couple of local companies also showed some interest. Um, but I just, yeah, just want to be reassured that if we're not using a local company, and even though this one obviously does have experience, that if there were issues, they have someone accessible to our site? Uh, I'm, I'm uncertain of where the closest um, operating depot is for ChargeNet, it's just that they are establishing a nationwide network. Um, I think Taran and Napier and Rotorua are the closest sites. But, but that, whether they've got a, an operating base at any of those, I'm not too sure of whether they're just the charge stations. Great, thank you. I think it's great to see us moving forward in this space. Any other? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, um, Councillor Harvey. Just a couple of questions from me, Dennis. Um, do we know how many existing charging stations we have in town? No, we don't. Have, I believe there is one charging station at the present time. One, one. Okay. Yeah. Um, the next question from me is: I'm assuming that these people will be charging people to use the station. Yes, correct. Okay. Um, are we charging them or going to have a licence to occupy what is effectively <coughs> public space? Um, it would be a licence to occupy. It would be up to council to decide whether they want to charge anything for them or not. Sure. Okay. I just I just wonder about the philosophy of that and would just like to understand what councillors' views around this room are on that. Um, and the uh, last one was just if these um, stations are not well used, um, do we have a point in the contract where we say they are to come down or be removed if they're not being, um, I guess, used? We can certainly include that in the licence to occupy this. It's just, you know, we are hopeful that they will be used, but I just wouldn't like to see them gathering dust there and find we've lost car parks and they're not being used. to approve this for ChargeNet or any the other providers today, um, let us know what they are so that then our lawyer can put them into the, into the contract or into the, the lease, licence, whatever it happens to be. Um, so at this stage all we've done is gone out and tested the market and, and the recommendation is ChargeNet given their, their national setting, um, but really it's up to you to identify um, now what, on what grounds do you allow it? You know, this is a new activity, we haven't allowed it on council land before. Um, so it's, it's do you want to accommodate it and if so under what terms? Okay. Well, from my perspective I'd be quite interested in us exploring whether we had a licence to occupy as part of that agreement. And charging? Yeah. Charging something, yeah. Well, I, I, yeah, I mean, we, we charge um, our local cafes and yeah. bars and restaurants to put tables out on and chairs out on pavements. Would we not have the same philosophy for a charging station? Just up for discussion. Any other thoughts on that? Oh. Oh, 
No, um, I think that um, it's actually a very good point that it's a commercial activity. At the end of the day, they're making money out of it. So we're going to be supportive as part of the new technologies and embracing the future, but I think there should be a uh, charge for that. Uh, my, one, my question was, on their website, they cite that they're already building a site in Taupo in the first quarter of next year in Taupo. On their website, I wonder if they've got two sites, have they? No, it's wishful thinking that we're going to get this. Um, the, the, one of the advantages with ChargeNet is that you can have an account with them and they will have, you can put on your key ring something like that and you can just swipe it and um, your charge goes through. So, because that's the advantage of having a nationwide network. Like Waitomo Energy have the same thing in Turangi and other places with their unmanned petrol stations and they're paying ground rent to people for it. So I just think we need to follow through on that. I didn't even think of that, Roseanne, it's a good point. Yeah, um, just through the chair, I'd be quite, I'm not close to whether we charge, have a licence to occupy or not, but I'd be quite interested to see what other councils do because, I mean, one of the things about us is free parking and accommodating everybody, so we should be accommodating electric like we do mobility and everything else, I think. Um, so yeah, I'd be, just be quite interested to see what the other um, sort of councils in the areas that charge net work with, what they do. Yes, because we want to be similar, wouldn't we? Yes, but I don't think we should treat electric car parking spaces any different from mobility or 60 minute 120. Really, this isn't just car parking, this is about a charging, so it's probably more akin to a petrol station than a car park. Yes, yes, yeah. but I'd the, still like to know what other councils so, so do. We've looked at that in other councils, there's a, there's a wider range as what you can think of from full commercial um, rent, essentially, through to <coughs> free of charge given the community benefit. So, so there is the, the range. Um, some councils allow on street, some allow off street, some allow one company, some open it up to any companies. Um, you could, in fact, approve all four. Yeah, which would be up to eight car parks and you could have them all sitting there but whether or not they would actually want to be next to their competitors is another story but you know that, that's the sort of the range that you've got to work with so there's no right or wrong answer mm. other councils sort of uh, i guess it is an unknown technology at this stage and it's yeah. something that's evolving chairman could i didn't raise the question though when this first came before council some time ago i raised word that we were going to the um the big energy providers did any of them respond or didn't you go to them when you sent out expressions of interest? The expressions of interest were publicly um, advertised through both the Herald and the Dominion and through the, um, the Get Online Tender. Um, one of those Unison is an energy supplier. Um, and I'm not aware of any of the others that are energy suppliers. Certainly Electrix were working with Victor, I think it was, who an energy supplier. I oh, just think about the Zeds and the BPs and stuff, but if they haven't responded, I'll accept that. I'm just wondering with the questions that uh, Councillor Jolins has raised, whether this should be tabled until we get that further information, or we make our decisions what we're going to charge and not charge. So I think you need to make the decision whether or not you wish to charge or not. Um, if you wish to charge, then the, the right mechanism in my opinion would be for us to get an evaluation of that, the same as what we do for any of other activities. So you talk about tables and chairs, we do that on a valuation basis, what is that space for that activity, um, which would be the normal way that council undertakes business. So, so if, you, if the question is, um, do you want them there? If so, which company and how many car parks? And if so, under what terms? So do you want to charge or not? Those are sort of the fundamental questions we can have. Well, my concern at the moment is the, is the car park issue. We continually get hampered with taking car parks from the central CBD. This is another exercise with more again. Whether it's good or bad, I can't answer that. It appears to be in an area where it's not a high car park that was, that was the reason that you picked initially and asked us to look at that site. There was two fundamental reasons. One was that there's a transformer right there. Obviously these things do require a lot of electricity and, and so therefore need a transformer in close proximity and there's one in that vicinity. Um, and the second issue is that that's our under, most underperforming car park, off-street car park in the CBD at the moment. And I think the photo will show you that. You know, there's, there's a number of vacant spaces. I don't know what time the photo was taken, but a number of vacant spaces. Um, and it is our most underutilised car park in CBD currently. Which is why you initially asked us to look at that. So I think I'm happy enough that it's a viable proposition. It's just a matter of the charging, isn't it? So 
And, and just through the Chair, just another thought too is the length of the licence to occupy in case we had some alternative uses for that land in the future. I mean, I quite like the location because you can walk into town and you can mm. walk everywhere, so it's quite yeah. a pragmatic solution, but I wouldn't want to lock us in for too long. Just just another thought for the table. Through the Chair, I'm happy to move, move the recommendation, but with that amendment that Gareth's talking about, that subject mm. to finalisation of the yeah. yep. lease. Mm. Can we do it as a like that? Yep. So you're happy to move the motion? With the changes. Is discussed. Do we have a seconder? I'll second that. All those in favour? Aye. 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 Carried.